Hey everybody, today on Did I Fix That, I've got this Porsche 911. This is the uh, 2011 model 997.2 Carrera. So it's basically, it's the base model. It's not a turbo, it's not a S. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take the bumper off. It's a pretty simple job. It should take maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, first thing I wanna, wanna do is talk about some of these tools we're gonna use. We've got a uh, Torx bit or a star bit. We've got a size T30. Also, we have a uh, T25. We've got a flat blade screwdriver. Um, this is a six in one screwdriver. I really like this. You can switch between Phillips and straight. Uh, and I've got a little speed ratchet and a couple other um, T25, T30 star bits that I'll be using. And a pair of pliers. So the first thing we have to do is um, open, the, open the hood. Once again, this is a 2011. This has a 3.6 liter motor in it. Um, this the base model. I suspect it's the same for all uh, 997s and probably 996s are very similar to this, as is the next generation as well. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my T25 and I'm going to take out the tail lights. There's two star bits that have that are in there, so we're just going to kind of back those out. And with these, you don't have to take them all the way out. You just kind of loosen them a little bit. And it's there, the washers kind of hold the, hold the lights in, believe it or not. So it just kind of slides straight back. And there's a tab right there that hit, that holds in uh, on the front aspect. So now we've got our wiring connector and uh, we're just going to just kind of pop that up. You heard that little pop that releases that. Then we pull the connector straight out. So we've got one tail light out. Let's get tail light number two out. And it's the same thing. We've got these two torques here that we have to kind of loosen out a little bit. That's the T25, not the 30. This is the only thing that's going to use the 25s. Now I'm done with my T25. I'm going to switch over to the T30. So I'll be using that in a second. Same situation here. Pull the light straight back, it's kind of a little jiggle, and it's out. Then I'm gonna grab my screwdriver, tail light. This is, th these are the LEDs. I suspect it's the same style of connector that they've used pretty much throughout. Just kind of get it in there and you'll hear a little pop and then release and it's out. It's that simple. I'm gonna lay this down. Now we've got the T30s that we're gonna start working on. There's four on top, let's pull those off. Real simple, just kind of come right out just like that. We've got four of those we're gonna take out. There's number two. When I'm working, I always like to keep all my fasteners pretty much together so I don't lose them. And then when, as soon as I get the part off, I'll put them back in so I don't lose track of where they go. And number four. Okay, so we've got that out. On the bottom side, there's two here. There's one by each muffler. And if you've noticed, I've already had the car apart and I've got one of my mufflers off and I'm gonna be doing that in this subsequent video to show you how to take those off. But there's two here. So, got the first one. Take that out. And we got our other one here. go now we'll step over to the side of the car and there's one little plastic one here take that out and this it's a this little press in deal but to get it out it's just like any other T T bit just kind of reverse it out and then that should just pull completely out okay and I'm gonna just go ahead and keep on working on this side now a lot of the videos nobody ever mentions <laughs> there's this there's one up here um, one of those little Torx bits, if I can find it and get my screwdriver into it. Uh, hold on a second. It's aggravating to get to. That is it. Crap.
Nope. The hardest thing is just finding the screw and putting the uh, bit into it. I can locate it. Uh, it's being aggravated. I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so we've got two down here. We've got the first one right here. Back that one out. Whoops. Okay, that one's out. Throw that over to my other ones. And then there's another one right here. My car is actually missing it. I've ordered it, but there's another one that's right here. Um, let me jump back on this one. So let me see if I can get to it. Get it out. It, if you notice, I did not take the wheels off the vehicle. I know that's a dumb statement. A lot of people tend to do that. Um, This is the hardest part of the job, right? Get my bit on this one here. And feel it. There we go. Finally, hooray, got it. All right, so that one's off. Now I'm gonna jump over to the other side. Same thing on this one. We've got this little plastic one right here. It comes right out, just like on the other side. Pull that off, like that. And we've got our Torx bit. Let me start with Mr. Impossible. This one here. Maybe this side will be a little easier to get at. I don't know. Or easier to find, I should say. And the reason I'm taking this uh, bumper cover off is because I wanted to change the spark plugs on the car. Some people do not take the bumper cover off. However, um, I don't see why you wouldn't because it just makes life so much, so much easier. And, yeah, oh my gosh. Looking like a monkey here trying to get my Torx bit on this one here. And God Almighty, having extreme Just difficulty. Do the other. Yeah, so we'll jump down here and get these off real quick. And oh, let me put my driver back on. Okay, that one's out. And as we said earlier, there's another one right here. I'm gonna pop that one out. Right here. See? I got it over there. And then I've got to get this one out. And this one's going to be the death of me here. Getting this out. This is really what it's like to work on a car. Sometimes things go easily, sometimes not. And um, this shouldn't be this difficult to see. The problem is I just don't have any good lighting right now. And oh, my goodness. There we go, got it. Okay, sorry guys for the delay on that. And, okay, all the bits are off now, or uh, the screws I should say are off. Grab my screwdriver again. Now, there's a tab here. 
and the tab here that kind of holds it in. And then up here on the front, on both sides, you just kind of kind of pull down and out, pops right out like that, okay? Do that on the other side, just kind of out, boom, okay? And we should be free at this point. So just kind of gently wiggle, wiggle this puppy out, pull out a little bit here. And there, okay, just kind of work yourself around. So that's free on that side. This is free over here, right on the edge there. Okay, now I did hold on with my hand here so the whole thing didn't fall off. Now I've got it, got it loose and it's down. Okay, I've got one wiring connection here. Same thing, it's a license plate. We're gonna kind of click it. There, pull it straight out and we're off and uh once again guys thanks a lot that's it that's real time that's how quick it comes off and we'll, next video will be the uh muffler removal with sport exhaust thank you